The B-2 bomber looks like something from a sci-fi movie, but it's a real aircraft with incredible stealth technology. Its unique flying wing design helps it avoid radar detection, making it nearly invisible. With a price tag of over $2 billion per plane, it's also one of the most expensive military aircraft ever built. To understand why the B-2 is so special, we first need to look at why it was created. The B-2 bomber was born out of the Cold War, a time when the United States and the Soviet Union were locked in a constant battle for military superiority. During this period, both nations developed advanced air defense systems designed to detect and destroy enemy aircraft before they could reach their targets. This posed a serious problem for the US military, which relied heavily on strategic bombers to deliver nuclear weapons in the event of war. Traditional bombers like the B-52 Stratofortress were powerful but had a major weakness. They were easily detectable by enemy radar. Radar technology had advanced significantly by the 1970s, making it nearly impossible for large aircraft to penetrate deep into enemy territory without being spotted. Once detected, these bombers could be intercepted by fighter jets or shot down by surface-to-air missiles. The US military needed a new kind of bomber, one that could fly undetected past enemy defenses and deliver its payload without warning. This led to the development of stealth technology, which would allow an aircraft to evade radar detection and complete its mission with minimal risk. The goal was clear – create a bomber that could penetrate the most heavily defended airspace in the world without being detected. To achieve this, the aircraft needed to have an extremely low radar signature, meaning it could not reflect enough radar waves for enemy systems to track it. This required a completely new design, one that would make traditional bombers look outdated in comparison. The idea of a stealth bomber was revolutionary. Instead of relying on speed or heavy armor to survive, this new aircraft would use its shape and materials to remain invisible to radar. This concept led to the creation of the B-2 Spirit, a flying wing bomber unlike anything seen before. Its sleek curve design allowed radar waves to scatter rather than reflect back to enemy systems, making it nearly impossible to detect. But to make this vision a reality, engineers had to design an aircraft unlike anything before. The B-2 Spirit's most striking feature is its flying wing design, a radical departure from traditional bomber aircraft. Unlike conventional planes with a fuselage and tail, the B-2 is a single continuous wing with no vertical stabilizers. This design choice was not just for aesthetics. It was a crucial part of making the B-2 nearly invisible to enemy radar. The flying wing shape was chosen because it minimizes radar cross-section, the measure of how detectable an aircraft is by radar. Traditional aircraft have multiple surfaces that reflect radar waves such as the tail, cockpit, and vertical stabilizers. The B-2, however, lacks these features, meaning that when enemy radar signals hit its surface, they are scattered away rather than reflected back to the radar source. This makes the B-2 extremely difficult to detect, especially at long distances. Beyond reducing radar reflections, the smooth curved design of the B-2 also helps with aerodynamics. The aircraft is capable of long-distance, high-altitude flight while maintaining fuel efficiency. By eliminating sharp edges and abrupt angles, the B-2 can glide through the air with minimal drag, increasing its range and allowing it to complete global missions with minimal refueling. However, building a functional flying wing aircraft came with major engineering challenges. One of the biggest problems was stability and control. Without these stabilizing structures, the B-2 had to rely entirely on advanced fly-by-wire systems. Without this technology, the B-2 would be nearly impossible to fly. Another challenge was ensuring that the B-2 could carry a heavy payload without compromising its stealth capabilities. The bomb bay is located entirely within the aircraft, meaning no external weapons or fuel tanks disrupt its radar evading shape. Engineers had to design a system that allows the bomb bay doors to open and close without creating large radar reflections, ensuring that the aircraft remains undetectable, even when delivering its payload. The materials used to construct the B-2 also played a critical role in maintaining its stealth. Engineers had to develop lightweight yet strong composites that could absorb radar waves while also withstanding the extreme conditions of high-altitude flight. 
The B-2 Spirit is one of the most advanced stealth bombers ever created, capable of slipping past enemy defenses undetected. Unlike traditional aircraft, which rely on speed or altitude to avoid threats, the B-2's greatest weapon is its invisibility. Engineers designed it to be nearly undetectable to radar, infrared sensors, and electronic tracking systems, making it one of the most difficult aircraft to intercept. This is achieved through a combination of radar-absorbing materials, strategic engine placement, and advanced electronic warfare systems. One of the most critical features of the B-2's stealth capability is its radar-absorbing materials and coatings. Radar works by sending out electromagnetic waves that bounce off objects and return to the receiver, revealing their location. Most aircraft have sharp edges and reflective surfaces that make them easy to detect. The B-2, however, is coated with special materials that absorb or deflect radar waves instead of reflecting them. This drastically reduces its radar cross-section, making it appear as a much smaller object. The aircraft's structure itself is also designed to minimize radar detection. The B-2's flying wing design eliminates vertical stabilizers and sharp angles that typically reflect radar waves. Its smooth, curved surfaces scatter radar signals in multiple directions preventing them from bouncing straight back to enemy radar systems. This means that even if an enemy detects something, the signal is too weak and fragmented to provide an accurate location. Another major factor in the B-2's stealth capability is its engine placement and exhaust design, which help reduce its heat signature. Most aircraft have engines mounted externally, where they generate a large amount of heat that can be easily detected by infrared sensors. The B-2, however, has its engines buried deep within the fuselage. This not only keeps them hidden from radar, but also helps control heat emissions. The bomber also uses a unique exhaust system that disperses hot air over a wide area, cooling it down before it exits the aircraft. This prevents the formation of a strong heat signature that heat-seeking missiles rely on to track their targets. Additionally, the aircraft's structure is designed to reduce turbulence ensuring that it does not leave a visible contrail in the sky, a common way to spot high-altitude bombers. Beyond physical stealth, the B-2 is also equipped with advanced electronic warfare systems that further enhance its ability to operate undetected. These systems allow it to jam enemy radar, disrupt communications, and mislead tracking systems by creating false signals. If the B-2 is ever detected, it can send out electronic countermeasures to confuse enemy defenses, making it harder to lock onto. This ability to manipulate the enemy's detection systems gives the aircraft an extra layer of protection. All of these technologies work together to make the B-2 one of the most difficult aircraft to track and intercept. It can fly deep into enemy territory, drop its payload, and leave without being seen. This combination of radar-absorbing materials, heat-reducing design, and electronic warfare systems makes the B-2 the pinnacle of stealth aviation. However, building such an advanced bomber came at an enormous cost. The B-2 Spirit is one of the most advanced bombers ever built, but it is also one of the most expensive. The program began in the late 1970s with the goal of creating an aircraft that could penetrate the most heavily defended enemy airspace without being detected. However, the groundbreaking stealth technology, unique flying wing design, and advanced materials required to build the B-2 quickly led to massive cost overruns. What was originally expected to be a relatively manageable project soon became one of the most expensive military programs in history. Initially, the US Air Force planned to build 132 B-2 bombers to replace older aircraft like the B-52 Stratofortress. These stealth bombers were expected to give the US a decisive edge in aerial warfare by allowing deep strikes into Soviet territory without being detected by radar. However, the cost of each aircraft skyrocketed as development challenges emerged. New materials had to be invented to absorb radar signals. Advanced flight control systems were needed to stabilize the unique flying wing shape and the entire aircraft had to be built with extreme precision to maintain its stealth capabilities. By the time the first B-2 was delivered in 1989, the cost of the program had ballooned to over $2 billion per aircraft, including research and development. In today's dollars, that would be even higher, making the B-2 one of the most expensive military aircraft ever produced.
The enormous cost quickly became a major controversy in Washington. With the Cold War coming to an end in the early 1990s, many questioned whether such an expensive stealth bomber was still necessary. The Soviet Union was collapsing, and the threat of a large-scale nuclear conflict seemed less likely than before. As a result, in 1992, the US government decided to cancel most of the planned B-2 production, cutting the total order from 132 bombers down to just 21 aircraft. This decision dramatically increased the cost per plane, since the original budget was meant to be spread across a much larger fleet. Each aircraft ended up costing around $2.1 billion, making the B-2 the most expensive aircraft ever built at the time. The decision to scale back production led to a fierce debate over whether the B-2's price was justified. Critics argued that spending billions on a stealth bomber made little sense when the Cold War was over and that the US could have invested in cheaper alternatives, such as cruise missiles or upgraded B-52s. Many politicians and military analysts questioned whether the B-2 was simply a case of extreme overspending on military technology. However, supporters of the program defended the high cost by pointing out the unique capabilities of the B-2. Unlike traditional bombers, the B-2 could fly directly into enemy airspace without being detected by radar. It could carry both nuclear and conventional weapons, making it an incredibly versatile strategic asset. Additionally, the aircraft's long range and ability to refuel in mid-air allowed it to reach any target in the world without needing to rely on overseas bases. These advantages meant that even with a small fleet, the B-2 could perform missions that would otherwise require multiple aircraft and support systems. In the years since its introduction, the B-2 has proven its worth in several combat operations, including in Kosovo, Iraq, and Afghanistan. Its ability to launch precision strikes without being detected has made it a valuable tool in modern warfare. Despite its cost, the B-2 has remained a critical part of the US Air Force's strategic bomber fleet. But when it comes to performance, the B-2 has proven itself time and time again. The B-2 spirit is not just an engineering marvel. It has proven itself in combat, demonstrating why it remains one of the most powerful and strategic aircraft in the US Air Force. Despite its high cost and limited production, the B-2 has played a critical role in modern warfare, striking deep into enemy territory with unmatched stealth. From the Kosovo War to conflicts in the Middle East, the B-2 has been used in some of the most significant military operations of the last few decades. One of the B-2's first major combat missions came in 1999 during the NATO intervention in Kosovo. The war was one of the first large-scale conflicts fought in the post-Cold War era, and the US needed an aircraft capable of precision strikes against key enemy targets. The B-2, with its stealth capabilities and advanced targeting systems, was the perfect tool for the job. During the campaign, B-2 bombers flew non-stop missions from Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri to Kosovo, a round trip of nearly 30 hours. Unlike other aircraft that needed to be stationed closer to the conflict, the B-2 could fly directly from the US, strike its targets with precision-guided bombs, and return home without being detected by enemy defenses. This ability to strike anywhere in the world without warning became a defining feature of the B-2's role in military strategy. Following its success in Kosovo, the B-2 was heavily used during the US invasion of Afghanistan in 2001 after the 9-11 attacks. Again, it flew long-range missions from the US to the Middle East, targeting Taliban strongholds and key infrastructure. Because of its stealth technology, the B-2 could strike enemy positions without being tracked by radar, giving the US a major advantage in early operations. The B-2's most extensive combat deployment came during the Iraq War in 2003. When the US launched Shock and Awe, its initial air campaign against Iraq, B-2 bombers were responsible for some of the most critical airstrikes. These included attacks on Saddam Hussein's command centers, military facilities, and key infrastructure, designed to cripple Iraq's defenses in the opening hours of the war. One of the reasons the B-2 remains so valuable is its versatility in carrying both conventional and nuclear weapons. Unlike traditional bombers, which rely on brute force, the B-2 can carry precision-guided bombs that minimize collateral damage. It can also carry bunker buster bombs, which are capable of destroying deeply buried targets, such as underground military facilities or hardened enemy command centers. 
At the same time, the B-2 is part of the US nuclear triad, meaning it has the ability to deliver nuclear weapons anywhere in the world. This makes it a crucial element of America's strategic deterrence. Perhaps the most impressive aspect of the B-2 is its ability to fly global missions without being detected. The bomber's stealth design makes it almost invisible to enemy radar, allowing it to penetrate heavily defended airspace where other aircraft would be easily spotted and targeted. This was particularly important in Iraq, where US forces faced one of the most advanced air defense systems in the region, while other bombers and fighter jets required extensive support from electronic warfare aircraft and air superiority fighters. The B-2 could slip past enemy defenses undetected, striking critical targets with precision. Even with these advantages, the B-2 is not without its limitations. Because only 21 B-2 bombers were ever built, their availability is limited, and missions must be carefully planned to maximize their effectiveness. The cost of maintaining these bombers is also extremely high, with each flight hour requiring extensive maintenance and specialized technicians to keep the aircraft operational. Despite its success, the B-2 won't be around forever. The B-2 Spirit has dominated stealth bomber technology for decades, but the future of aerial warfare is about to take another leap forward with the introduction of the B-21 Raider. Developed by Northrop Grumman, the B-21 is designed to replace the B-2 and improve upon its stealth efficiency and versatility. One of the biggest improvements in the B-21 is its next-generation stealth technology. While the B-2 was revolutionary for its time, modern radar systems have become more advanced. The B-21 is designed with new materials and coatings that make it even harder to detect. It also features improved electronic warfare systems, allowing it to jam enemy radar and communications more effectively. Another key advancement is its cost and maintenance efficiency. The B-2 is notoriously expensive to operate, costing over $130,000 per flight hour. The B-21 is built to be more affordable, with a modular design that makes maintenance and upgrades easier. This ensures that it can stay operational for decades without the high cost that limited the B-2's production. Additionally, the B-21 is being designed as a dual-capable bomber, meaning it can carry both nuclear and conventional weapons while integrating seamlessly with modern warfare technology. It is expected to work alongside drones and AI-driven combat systems, making it more adaptable to future conflicts. But is it truly the greatest stealth bomber of all time? Do you think the B-2 is the most impressive bomber ever built, or will the B-21 surpass it? Leave your thoughts in the comments.